Hey guys, Clint Coons here, and in this video, we're going to talk about squatters' rights. Okay, when I hear that word, I mean, it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Because what is a squatter? A squatter is essentially a trespasser, but the law doesn't look at them as a trespasser. And in fact, they kind of treat them as a tenant. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up and I wanted to talk about it is because about three months ago, I ran into this problem with one of our properties where we had rented the property, tenant shows up and there's somebody living in the house. Now, just in the period of when we went in and we cleaned the property, got it ready for a new tenant to come into that property, somebody had moved in in that intervening time. It's three days, boom, they're in there. They change the locks on the property. We go to the door and we say, hey, we didn't rent to you. Didn't matter. They shut the door in our face and they and then they're hiding out on the property. So this person is now called a squatter. Now the law, unfortunately, does not allow you to take the law into your own hands. Because let's face it, if you're in that situation like I was, I want to go in there and drag them out by their ears and kick them out onto the street because they have no business being there. But unfortunately, the law doesn't allow you to do that. First uh, recourse would be to call the local police, get the police to come out there to see if the police can't get them out. Many times, of course, right now, police aren't even going to respond to that. So what you're forced to do now is go to court and bring an unlawful detainer action against that individual, which means it's basically treating them like you would a tenant. You have to remove them through that same process. And of course, then you can bring the sheriff out to remove that person. Many times, in my experience, especially what's uh, recently happened, when you start that process and you serve notice on them, they will typically leave the premises. But the problem then becomes they've now, as I discovered many in, in many instances, they've created substantial damage to the property during that time, and you're forced to go back in there and perform some rehab work before your new tenant can move in. Now, case in point that you need to be aware of as well, when squatters are in your property, and they leave stuff behind. You can't throw it away. Now, so not only does the law not allow you to remove this person on your own, they allow them to continue living there until you go through a court-ordered procedure. They also say you're responsible for any of their garbage that they left behind. So you can't just throw it away. So if you have no squatters that are living in your property, they leave the property, what I would suggest you do is go in and film everything that's in that property. Now, if there's anything of value there, you have to use hold it for a set period of time depending on your state, and this is called bailment. So you need to look up your bailment laws to determine how many days you have to hold onto their property for them in a secure location so they can come back and claim it. You don't want to make the mistake that people have done in the past where they throw all the garbage away and then the person comes back and says, well, I had a uh, OLED television, I had a PlayStation, I had all this other fancy equipment and cell phones and stuff that he destroyed or he's probably sold. And they make up these cases and you can become then liable to that squatter. So you have to hold on to it. By filming, what you're doing is you're showing that, hey, there were no valuables left behind. It was just rubbish that they left in there. So it backs up your story if you were to throw away things and they were to come back against you at a later date. So with squatters, there's no easy way to handle it as far without going to court, but you need to be aware of that. The last thing you hear people say is this thing about adverse possession, that if you let a squatter live there for too long, namely 10 years, well, you really have to ask yourself, why weren't you checking on your property in 10 years and that person was allowed to live there? Because if they do, then they can gain actually title to your property through what we call adverse possession. It's actually a legal way to steal someone else's property, but you're not gonna allow that to happen. So that's the way it works, guys. Hey, if you've got any comments on the video, be sure to drop them down below and smash that like button. Take care.